Okay, so I have um, a little DIY project going on. I am making a photo frame for my baby shower and I picked up some things from Hobby Lobby. I have everything kind of like set up over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint this uh, frame with like a forest green paint. And I have those two things right here. And I kind of painted the color a little bit just so I can see what it's going to look like. And that's the color that I picked. So it's like goes perfect with my theme. Um, and I have the letters for his name right here. I actually spray painted these gold. And this was the spray paint that I used. I did the spray paint um, yesterday. So they had like a full day to dry. If I needed, I put like two coats, I think. I sprayed it once and then um, I let it dry for about an hour and then I it kind of dries really fast actually and it looked really good it was super easy um, and it went on pretty good because it's like a primer and spray paint in one so um, I I think it is yeah it's like a metallic one so it's paint and primer in one and I went ahead and did um, two coats of that yesterday and then I also um, picked up some flowers to like glue on the uh, corners I'm just using white flowers. I already did cut some of them off and I cut the leaves off as well because I'm going to put those like behind it and then what else? I think that's all I got for it. It's going to be like really simple um, but I just kind of wanted to have like a photo frame um, so people people could take pictures with and I can I can use it to take pictures um, and I actually did also buy the wood pieces from Hobby Lobby. It came in a pack of four and all I did was I I didn't record myself doing the gluing the wood pieces, but I did use um this gorilla super glue. I actually bought like a wood glue at first and um I didn't like the way that it like was holding. It didn't really hold the wood together. Um and it's weird because it was like specifically for wood glue, but I found that the super glue, like honestly right away it started holding it and binding it together. So I did let that dry for a little bit, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting it. Um, I just put down a uh, trash bag underneath just so I don't get my table dirty or anything like that. But I'm also just gonna be using two of these brushes that I also got from Hobby Lobby um, to paint um, the green on there. So we'll see how it turns out. This is what we are working with right now. This is just one coat. I really, really love the color. It goes perfect with the safari theme. Um, so I'm just gonna let this dry for about like an hour or two. I'll check back. Well, it actually looks like it's drying already. Um, it does look like, a you can tell right here, it looks a little bit wet, but some, some spots are already drying, but I'm probably gonna give it like an hour or two. Um, just to make sure that it's like completely dry before I put the second coat and then I have to let it dry after that before I start like gluing on all the stuff but I will keep you guys updated. I'm probably just gonna eat some lunch right now while it's drying. Um, and yeah. 
Okay, so I just checked the frame and it is dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat now. Okay, so this is how it looks with two coats. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and now just let it dry for uh, a couple hours, maybe like two. And then um, I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I'm gonna do next. So just stay tuned. Okay, so I um, let it finish drying already and now I'm gonna um, add the decorative pieces. So um, what I did was I cut these flowers off of like this little um, bouquet. Of fake flowers. I got these also at Hobby Lobby. Um, they were a really good price. They were like 50% off So they only came out to be like four dollars or so for that whole thing and it comes with like a lot of flowers I don't think I need that many. I just needed like a few But I also cut off the leaves too. So what I'm gonna do I um, have my hot glue gun warming up over there and some extra um, glue sticks I'm gonna just hot glue like these pieces um I haven't decided like quite how I'm gonna figure it out yet like where exactly I'm gonna lay everything but for sure I want to put down um, some of the the um, the leaves like that kind of like that and then put the flower like on top but of course I think I need to add some more leaves like I'll just glue it down maybe like that I haven't quite figured it out yet but that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put it on this corner maybe uh, I don't know yet. Maybe that corner and this corner and maybe his name will go down here. For sure his name is going to go um, down here, but I'm just trying to pick what what um, corners to do the flowers. I think I'm going to do that side. That side and this side right here. Okay. So we'll see how it comes out. <laughs> went with um, on this corner I was only gonna add two flowers at first but I really like how it looks with three I think it looks like way more full um, I don't know I just like the way that it turned out so I'm gonna be doing um, this corner next right here so um, yeah let's see how it turns out
Okay, so this is how the uh, right corner came out. I'm loving the way that it looks so far. I went ahead and laid out the um, letters. I'm not sure if like I'm gonna leave them flat or maybe do like um, one high, one like low, maybe the next one high, but I feel like that will take too much space because um, his name like barely fits. It's like right there by the flowers. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it looks really, really good. I used pretty much the whole bouquet. I only left one flower. So this was like a pretty um, easy project like so far. I mean, the materials don't cost that much. Um, everything was from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think the paint was like 30% off. Uh, they were ha The flowers were 50% off. They were having sales on most of this stuff. So I feel like it was pretty, um, pretty like cost efficient to do it. I wasn't gonna do one of these at first, but like I said, um, I changed my mind and then I went to Hobby Lobby and pretty much everything was on sale. So I was like, let me go ahead and do it. And yeah, I mean, this is what the size looks like. It's a pretty decent size frame. It's not too small, it's not too big. And this is how that side came out with the three flowers and then this side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and glue the names, uh, the letters, I'm sorry, for his name. And I will show you guys whenever I'm done. Okay, so I finished gluing the letters down and this is the final product. Um, I think it looks really, really good. It was really easy and it was so simple. Um, I love the way that it turned out. I can't wait to use it and I'm so excited. So um, I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this video I or this DIY. Um, it was really easy to make. If you guys want to see more like this, just let me know because I do have other projects that I'm working on. Um, for my baby shower so just let me know